very pleased to be able to report significant progress on the Melbourne Metro Rail project, a project that's going to transform our public transport system and protect the livability and the quality of life of our city. It's going to play a really big part in keeping Melbourne the world's most livable city. We will tunnel underneath the Yarra. Uh, the total depth will be at about 11 metres, a project that has five new stations, nine kilometres of track, and what's more, the capacity to carry 20,000 extra passengers every hour. So there is four and a half billion dollars committed right now to this important project. We're not wasting a moment in building a much better public transport system for Melbourne and for Victoria. The decisions that have been made in terms of going underneath the Yarra with tunnel boring machines, very little impact. Crossing the Yarra is one of the more complex parts of the, the Melbourne Metro Rail project, which is obviously a massive project with the construction of twin nine kilometre tunnels along the route. The Yarra is at about three to four metres in depth at this point. The tunnels will sit seven metres below that. That approach has really been identified as the, the preferred approach in this instance because it does minimise the disruption above ground as much as possible. The consultation part, the going out and talking to people, is a key part of the work that the Melbourne Metro Authority are doing as well as getting on with uh, finalising the business case, which will be done at the end of the year, and really uh, drilling down and identifying uh, how to deal with this uh, complex project, but an exciting project that will involve, which I'm sure will have everyone very interested, the uh, in tunnel boring machines going under the Yarra to complete this uh, very exciting project that will transform Melbourne's and Victoria's public transport system. There's a big knot at the centre of the system at the moment and that's the current loop to effectively double the city loop, those five new station precincts, those 20,000 extra passengers being able to move every hour of the peak, this is going to be a much better public transport system and, and frankly it's what the world's most livable city should uh, aspire to. The scale of this is huge, it's what all the great cities of the world are doing and it's what our great city, the greatest city, Melbourne should be doing. Authorised by Victorian Government, One Treasury Place, Melbourne.